Cancer Awareness Month, and the Detroit Lions will join other NFL teams to raise awareness. As our Alicia Smith reports, the breast cancer ambassador for the Lions is a young woman from Plymouth who never thought she'd have to wage this war at such a young age. One in eight women will battle invasive breast cancer. Fewer than 5% of women diagnosed are younger than 40. Amy Kasurik never dreamed she'd be one of them. Amy Kasurik is a 39-year-old newlywed. Just over a year ago. Um, oh, beautiful. Boy. Yeah, this is one of my favorite wedding pictures. The medical records clerk is married to Chris Kasurik. My husband is the defensive line coach for the Detroit Lions which right now our defense is amazing. The couple was one month shy of their March 2015 wedding day, spending a week's vacation at the Pro Bowl together when Amy started feeling numbness down her right side. Then she felt the lump in her right breast. No one in my family had ever had cancer. I was only 36. I didn't knew I didn't have mammogram until 40. She couldn't believe the diagnosis. Stage three, HER2 positive breast cancer. I caught my cancer very late. Basically, they told me if I would have come back in a month from then, there's a possibility that I could have had stage four. Since it was so aggressive, Amy and Chris postponed their wedding and decided not to do the one to two month procedure to save her eggs. She went right into six rounds of chemo, six weeks of radiation, a double mastectomy, reconstructive surgeries, then six more months of chemo. She was at her lowest low. How did you get through it? He was that one that was like, you need to get up and you, you need to live and you need to beat today. And when today is done, then we worry about tomorrow. And he's like, there's no way we're going to get through this. You can't get through the sulking in your sorrows, Aim. I need you. With Chris, her personal coach by her side, and her family support system, Amy fought on. Donning a wig for their New Beginnings photo shoot, she stayed positive. Amy finally married her coach in June of 2016 after tackling the toughest fight of her life. What is the one message you want to get across to other women? I want to get across to women. Early detection is the key. I was so far not aware of my body. She recommends getting mammograms as early as your doctor will allow and conduct monthly self breast checks. And what about plans for having a baby? They basically told me the chances that with my age of me having children after were going to be very slim. Um, that I wouldn't probably get my period back and that I'd probably go into a menopausal state. But here I am, back and working. She said it would be kind of a miracle baby if she gets pregnant, but there is a chance. Amy is still cancer free. She will celebrate her three year cancerversary this coming February, and she hopes her story will encourage women everywhere to do self breast checks regularly and get their mammograms. An important message for all women. Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. Thanks so much, Alicia, for sharing her story.